TV8. This is a breaking news alert. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's just about 7 o'clock now. We're following breaking news out of Walker. Firefighters were battling a large fire at an apartment complex on West Town Drive. This is in the Standale neighborhood. News 8's Gabrielle Pfeiffer has been there all morning, and it looks like the fire is out now. Gabrielle, have we learned anything new this hour? Yeah, Brittany, the fire is definitely out. We can say that everyone inside of the building was able to make it out safely. Uh, Red Cross has been here at least within the last hour just trying to assist residents uh, who will now be displaced from this fire that happened. Joining me right now is Chief Pelton with the Walker Fire Department to kind of talk about um, the investigation, the fire that happened. I mean, tell me, like, what, what have you all, what do you all know right now? Right now, we got a call about 3.40 in the morning of a large fire east of the uh, apartment complex. Arrived on scene, crews found heavy involvement in the uh, northwest corner of the uh, building. Uh, fire raced across the attic space. It was a, more of a defensive fire to get a knockdown. Uh, crews did a primary search to get it all clear of the building. We rescued a few residents that were, uh, uh, get them out of the building. Right now, we're in a mop-up, kind of salvage and overhaul phase to get the hot spots to be sure the fire is completely extinguished. We did this with the auto aid from uh, Wright Talmadge, Granville, Georgetown Township, and uh, Alpine Township. So assessing, assessing the damage right now, I, I'm assuming that this building is completely destroyed, would you say? Yep, the roof is completely gone. It's going to be uninhabitable for a while until they get that repaired. Uh, Red Cross is here to help out and uh, the residents to find them a new place to, to live for a temporary basis. Now we've also heard reports this morning about from multiple residents who have said that the sprinklers uh, did not turn on, fire alarms did not turn turn on to alert them of the fire. Uh, can you uh, speak to any of that yet? I can't, I can't speak for all the buildings. The main building that did have the fire, the alarm wasn't working as we were uh, doing our primary search. Um, the sprinkler systems are there to protect the living areas where the fire was up above in the attic space, so there are no sprinkler systems in the attic spaces. All right, good deal. Thank you so Thank much, you. Chief, for joining us this morning. Uh, again, we are still trying to gather um, information. We have been talking to residents, and uh, we were hearing reports about uh, them smelling gas on yesterday and then them waking up this morning to smoke. And so uh, we'll be out here all morning talking to residents, talking more with uh, the chief of the fire department here, just trying to gather uh, any more details uh, that we can. But again, no one has been injured in every Everyone was able to make it out safely. Uh, Brittany, I'll send it over back to you.